Hey everybody, I have so many cards to show you today. I'm just going to show them to you. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail um, because I have at least 15 cards to show you. Um, this is a wedding card I did. It says, Best Wishes Mr. and Mrs. and I hand colored the hearts. And it's blank on the inside. Here's another one. Happy Wedding Day would be perfect for weddings. And that's also blank on the inside. Can you see the sparkle on that flower? I love it. Okay. And this one I just did last night. It's Happy Sweet 16. And I colored in the feathers. And this is stickers. Blank on the inside. Also. This one I did last night also. And it says hello. I die cut and stamped the leaves. You might not be able to see that in this uh, light. And then I die cut the hello and buttons blank on the inside. This one says best wishes and there's little clouds and there's a couple sayings on here. What a lovely day it says. I guess that's the only one you can see. Um, and this is blank on the inside on like a grayish cardstock. This card here's more of the cloud paper. It just says hi. And under the clouds it says, what a lovely day on that one also. That's the only full quote that you can see. And that's blank on the inside. This one says hugs and kisses. And it's a fairly simple one. It's just a graphical design, pretty modern. It's on this really pretty coral paper, but it's white on the inside. This one I hand stamped and colored with my Copic markers. It says get well soon and it's white and blank on the inside. This one says thank you and this says wow up here. This is a little transparency and I added buttons and some more of the paper. Most of this is from uh, the Studio Calico July kit which was I think it was called Penny Arcade. It was the card kit that I've been working with. Um, this included. I did get one of the add-ons to the card kit too. Um, this says there's no place like gnome. And it's a gnome that I stamped using the uh, stamp set that came with the kit. And then hand colored it with my Copic markers. The rest is just patterned paper and cardstock and buttons. And it's on a white cardstock base. This one I did, you may have seen it, I did it for a challenge, it's on my Facebook, and if you're not um, liked on my Facebook page for Four Eyes Designs, I'll leave a link below and you can go and like that, I'd appreciate it. So this is one I did for a challenge, and it combines a lot of different pattern papers. I put a happy birthday stamp there, and buttons, and a, and a ribbon. And this one says hello. This is using some older um, basic gray pattern paper and uh, I don't know where that border sticker came from but it says hello. There's some enamel dots on it and it's on a really nice pink cardstock base. This one, I'm going to save that one for last. This one is again pretty simple. I'm just trying to uh, use up some of the older patterned paper that I have. And this is black and white, and then I added these red, um, they're like sequin stars. They're um, not metallic or in any way. And then I added this cream color die cut and a black flower and a really pretty rhinestone there. And it says, Happy Birthday. The inside says, Wishing you the best on your birthday and every happiness in the year ahead. Okay, three more. This is, again is a really simple one using some older pattern paper I had, some old fibers which have a really pretty finish. Um, all I did is this was a polka dot paper that has a few dots on it and I decided to continue the dot theme and I added cardstock dots and some um, pearl vellum dots and real pearls and a sequin up here. So just making it more dotty. 
And this is using a little um, black frame that I had die cut, and I do have more available if anyone would like to purchase them. Uh, this one says a little note of thanks, and it's blank on the inside. And this one, again, very simple. That was fun. It's green craft in orange, trying to use up this rub on up here specifically and the older pattern paper which is paper tray ink and it's blank on the inside craft card stock base this last one is a trifold card and what you do is you take the string and then you unwrap it around that brad there and then it opens up like this and it says miss you babe and this is a bird that I uh, stamped and colored and then hand cut and it's sitting on a tag and to seal it back up I'm just going to loop it around the brad one time and that's it. So that's what I have for you right now. I'll try to get those up in the shop as soon as I can. That's the part that takes a while. It's not nearly as fun as the creation part um, but I'll get those listed for you if there's any that you're interested in buying right away, please let me know in the comments below and I will contact you directly. Otherwise, look forward to seeing these in the shop and I will also be posting a lot of these on my Facebook page when they get listed in my shop. So if you want to stay up to date on what I'm doing, that would be the place to go. So go ahead and like my page on Facebook and the link is below. Thanks. Bye.